was ecstatic, man. Um, just a hard for a win, and uh, you know, Kuz is really reliable. So uh, I'm happy that he he knocked it through and got us a win at the end. Hey, on your two catches in the uh, the drive right before the half, uh, you know, how'd you hold on to the first one and the second one? Uh, you know what happened on the touchdown play? I was really just focusing in on the ball, uh, being fearless over the middle. Uh, you know, catching the ball over the middle, you're probably going to take a hit most of the time. So just really focusing on the ball and, you know, Matt staying in there, getting the ball to me. Uh, you know, he's a tough guy, tough quarterback. So, and then uh, on the touchdown, just making myself available to him so that, you know, he can find me and he found me. So that was a big drop for us at, at the end of the half. What's it been like the last three weeks around this team, around this organization when it comes to, I'm going to say, Arthur was usually more for lethal a lot. Like, what, what's that been like? He said, well, what's this been like over the last three weeks within the organization when you guys are losing games by 20 points and then to have what you have in today? I think it's just having a consistent mindset to get better each and every day. And um, that's what Art has been preaching to us. And I feel like we've been doing a good job for that past three weeks. So um, just staying even killed no matter what's going on, just having that you know uh, tough mentality to keep pushing through and keep getting better each day. What, was he, what would he say to you guys exactly? Kind of, uh, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Just because you keep being consistent. Yeah, okay. having the right man's mindset. Did he talk to you about that either at halftime or during the second half when you guys would come to the sidelines and things weren't going well at all? He's always preaching that, you know, every every day. Every day it's about the mindset. It's just getting better, improving each day, and just stacking success each day, getting better each day. He talked about uh, after after the first game, he didn't like the way uh, things went sideways in the, in the second half. Um, what was that following week like? Um, uh, uh, it was just more intentional, you know. Um, you know, I felt like we we saw like what we what we were capable of, especially early on in that game, and then uh, you know we fizzled out a little bit. So, uh, like I've been saying, just keep being consistent with our mindset. Well, when things are rough or things are going well, just to keep grinding away, grinding away, grinding away. In terms of maintaining that mindset, how important was it to get a win, to have some validation for that, to keep going? I think it's, it's big for us. You know, um, I think it's just about believing, having trust that you know what we're doing will work for us. And um, you know, this is, this is big for us, for not only us but the whole organization, you know, fan base, all that. So I think it's good for us. And uh, we just gotta, like I said, just keep going and uh, have the right mindset each and every week. Could you give us some idea for the kind of the mindset going into that last field goal drive? knowing the, the, the struggles you've had and, and just what was the belief that, okay, we're going to get this done and finish it off? S same mindset every job, just we want to put points on the board. And obviously, we know the situation, but, um, you know, you just, just got to execute. Just really hunker down, execute. You know, we started to drive off with CP. I don't know how many yards it was, but that's, that's a big play. It's a big play just to get us close to field goal range. And then, um, I forget, uh, Kyle, Kyle had another play, put us in field goal range. So those are, those are big plays, you know, so. Um, it's, it's just it's huge. It's big. What was the scene like in the locker room after the game? Uh, a little crazy. Some dancing, you know, a little bit of dancing. Yeah. Uh, good, great energy though. Great energy. You know, it's, it's, I'm happy to see that from from everybody. Did, did Arthur dance? Uh, Arthur. Arthur was not dancing. <laughs> neither, neither, neither Arthur. No, neither Arthur was dancing. No, neither no. Arthur was dancing. No. Who, who presented Arthur, the coach, with the game ball? Matt Ryan did. Matt Ryan did. Matt Ryan did. What did he say? What he said? Uh, you know, first first time head coach, his first win as a head coach. So, um, you know, it's a, it's an accomplishment. You know, it might be a small one in his eyes, but still accomplishment nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, Matt, Matt gave him the ball, and I think it was, it was, good, it was good. Did he kind of did the coach sort of downplay the whole thing, kind of thing? What did he say? Uh, he was just uh, everybody just started getting riled up and just getting uh, hype around him and stuff. So it was a good it was a good moment. It was good. Moment. And I know you grew up you grew up in the in the Jersey area and went to high school in Philly. Did you grow up did you for the Giants or anything like that or any any team in the area? Uh, nah. Uh, <laughs> I was actually a Chargers fan growing up. Just because my favorite player was LT. I watched LT growing up, so uh, I, I like the Chargers West Coast. Did you so, have anyone come to the game or any family or friends? My mom was here and then. Um, like six other family friends, so it was good. Was it really cool to score in front of all that? Yeah, it was definitely cool. I just had to make sure to keep the ball. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's big. I haven't played back in, at home you know, in a while, so this is a big moment for me and my, my family. I know everybody's like, could be the fourth quarter, but what do you think was going on offensively within the first three quarters that really stifled the offense? I just think it's our execution, um, you know, uh, lack of details or whatever the case may be, but um, we got to convert on third. Just stay on the field, and 
I think that's, that was a big thing for us. We just didn't stay on the field. All right. Thanks, Ozzy. All right. Appreciate you guys.